The screen recorder feature in iOS 11 is one of the coolest new features, but if you're using it on some older hardware, you can find that your recordings will fail and stop halfway through or the audio will cut out. So in this video, I'm gonna show you three tips that are gonna help you get more successful recordings on your screen recorder and less fails. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete. This is Studio Live Today, where I help you create, record, and release your best music. Now, this might be a little bit music adjacent, but one of the cool things you can do here in iOS 11 is record your screen. And I've got videos which I will link up at the top there and down below about how to actually do that. But one of the things you might find is, especially if you're using some older hardware, like I'm using an iPhone 6S Plus here, which doesn't feel like it should be super old, but it kind of is now. And what tends to happen is when you're doing a screen recording, it can actually fail halfway through. So how do we actually stop it? And what will happen is you'll go back, you'll go to stop it, and you realize the recording's already stopped. So how do we make sure that our recording will go all the way through? Well, there's a few little things we can do, and we're gonna jump in and show those now. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is close down any other apps that are running in the background. So we do that by just double tapping on our home button and swiping up on all of these apps because what's going to happen is the reason your screen recording will stop is that your phone is running out of memory or processing power. So it means that it's going to prioritize other things like background apps over your screen recording. So we've closed out of those and it's going to make sure we've got more processing and more memory available for our screen recording. Number two tip is to go into airplane mode. So to do that, we swipe up on our screen to go to our control center, and then we just tap on the airplane icon here. What this is gonna do, it's gonna turn off Wi-Fi, it's going to turn off our mobile signal, because those are two other things that use up a lot of memory and processing power in our phone. It'll tell us here that, yep, Bluetooth is turned off, Wi-Fi is turned off, and our phone uh, mobile data is turned off. So that means, and you can see there, our screen recording is still ticking along, flashing away there and doing a good thing. So closing down all of our apps and then going into airplane mode are going to help reduce the processing that we have on our screen recorder. And the third and final tip that we have for our screen recorder here is that when you are using the screen recorder, if you're opening a bunch of different apps, and you're switching between them, it can actually cut the audio. It's a bit of a known fault and it's a bit annoying. What I would suggest you do there is if you are going to do part of a video in one app and then another big part of a video in another, is to stop the recording and then restart it with a new fresh recording when you're in the new app because swapping between your apps can actually cause the recording sound to drop out. So you'll have all of your video, but you'll get to the end and you'll have no audio for that last part of your video. And there you go, some simple but effective ways to make sure that your screen recorder is going to record your screen. If you've got comments, questions, or suggestions, or other tips about using the screen recorder, you can leave those down below, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching. If you would like to check out more videos on how to use screen recorder to capture your iOS screen on the iPhone or the iPad, there are two more videos linked below. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking in the top right there or head to studiolivetoday.com for more audio goodness.